come in focus, I think. So, um, basically, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, talk to whoever uh, is interested in hearing my story, my history with acne, with um, having to deal um, with, um, I would say, the, the emotional effects of, that, of having acne. Um, very briefly, uh, for me, really, the issue started, I would say, maybe last year of high school. Although they were maybe just like a bump or two, you know, um, nothing really severe. Um, so I really didn't pay much mind to it. But I did see the, the sort of beginnings of that, you know, having severe acne. First year of college, for sure. That was um, when I started breaking out. Um, I didn't really have an enjoyable time in, in college because one of the major factors was that I always had to, to deal with my skin. I always felt very um, closed off. I felt very shy. Um, uh, I would avoid meeting new people. I still made friends, but I think had I felt more like myself, then I think I would have, you know, maybe had a much more enjoyable time. But um, there was one year after I graduated college where I was completely clear. And uh, I was happy, right? I thought really the, the acne was gone. I thought the symptoms and everything was totally free and clear. Wrong. <laughs> because Right after that, that year, um, I would say around 2008, I broke out, and when I say I broke out, I broke out severely. I mean severely, like my entire face, my forehead, uh, the cheeks, the chin underneath, like underneath my, my uh, jaw here had broken out. My face was irritated, red, okay, it was red. It was irritated, it was oily, bumps everywhere, White heads, black heads. Um, I look like a totally different person. You wouldn't even recognize me. When this happened, I really felt like I had absolutely no control whatsoever. This thing was just going to come and destroy me, destroy my life, and it did. For that year, I would say that I could, I basically locked myself in, yeah, away from the world. I didn't talk to friends, I didn't talk to anybody, I avoided going on job interviews, I avoided I, I avoided life in general, as a whole, because of feeling, uh, you know, I just, I felt like I was always being judged, because I would see the reactions of people, so I don't think it's necessarily me, I, I do understand and acknowledge that at some point, I just became so traumatized, I had paranoia, I couldn't, I could never look at people in the eye. I couldn't um, interact with people because I always felt that, they, that we, they were judging me in some way. Like they felt like, um, but I also believe that they were judging me, you know. I don't think it was just me a lot of the times. I don't think it was my paranoia. I felt that in general at that time because I was so broken out, people were judging me. Um, they, they felt that I was, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it unattractive and all this sort of things. Because of that, I, I felt that, right? I felt uh, unattractive. Let's, let's discuss this. <laughs> I'm going to discuss this with you, a stranger. Not anymore. Anyway. So, that's what happened. So, um, a very... I could talk about it now, but at that time, I think I took it actually very well. I, I'm not somebody who... Well, at that time, I took it very lightly, or at least I tried to. I tried to be sort of sarcastic about it, humorous about it, because I needed to alleviate the situation in my life where my face was completely broke, you know, uh, just broken out with bumps everywhere, and I had no control. Um, at that time, I was, what, 22? Young. Young guy who is shut off from the world, opportunities come your way and you reject them because of, or I reject them because of my skin, because of the way that I look. 
whenever I would go apply for a job, I'd get shown the door. Obviously, after this is occurring to you for many, many, many months, years even, for some people, many years, yes, of course, you feel like, what is my life? Why is this happening to me? This is not a life. And I don't know how to get back to having just a normal life. And I think, as a whole, I think, generally speaking, acne is perceived to be something that is not as harmful as maybe something else because it's not essentially life-threatening. However, does it affect your psyche? Yes. Does it affect your life because it affects your psyche? Yes. So, it's a long-term, sometimes long, drawn-out, traumatic, slowly eating away at your life sort of a disease, I think, because it happened to me. So, it's serious, you know? Let's talk about it. It's serious. It's not something to be taken lightly. Um, maybe for some people, you get a bump or two, you go to ride it, you buy a cream, you put it on the bumps, it goes away, no bumps for another five months. Okay, great. And then there are those, like myself, who can't go that route. Millions of people, I'm sure, can't go that route. So what about them? Forget them? They're just going to be hermits for the rest of their life? No, I don't think so. So it's like, um, I think another part of my frustration was that my own family didn't understand. Other people that were uh, friends, they didn't understand. Nobody understood me. Nobody understood what I was going through. And I think that just compounded the sort of stress, the anxiety. It was, that's really, if I want to talk about the appropriate word for severe acne, anxiety. Hey, you want to go out, hang out on Saturday night? We're going to go, uh, we're going to go, um, meet some, uh, some of my new, I got new friends that are coming in from uh, upstate. You want to go meet them? This is the first time you'll be seeing them with first impressions. You want to go? No, <laughs> because, you know, uh, I feel like, uh, I don't want to be seen in this way. I feel very, uh, just un let's talk about it unattractive uh, feel um, like I'm gonna be judged I'm gonna be ignored like a creature you know I'm elephant man you know I'm not an animal you know this kind of thing uh, <laughs> but so that would happen many times so yes um, so let's talk about then when I did meet Dr. Neil. So I, I went in to see Dr. Neil when he had an office in New York. At that time, that was my most severe breakout. First of all, right off the bat, he was not like the other doctors that I would that I had met prior to meeting him because I did see many doctors. And you know what they did? They go, I walk in the office, literally, I walk in the office, they take a look at me. Oh, I see you have acne. They'll take a little pad, they'll just scribble a, like a, a cream or a pill, a cream that will cost like what, $200 or something, expensive, expensive cream or some pill or something just, but they would take it so casually like, oh, just see this and uh, see me in uh, eight weeks or something. Eight weeks, what if it's not working and it's been eight weeks? This is something that needs to be sort of nipped in the butt very early because it's like, you let this thing drag on, this is what's going to cause scarring, which I have. And so, Neil was, Dr. Neil was not that way. He was, um, first of all, he seemed very much like he understood me. He seemed more invested in uh, treating me. So right off the bat, I felt like, okay, I think I had made the right choice. Um, and he did treat me uh, for about, I think, eight I'm not sure, I, th I think it was like seven, seven or eight weeks, uh, something along the lines like that. And yes, my skin had dramatically improved. And so, um, uh, now the issue was after that, 
um, tr continue to treat my skin. So I would break out, again, not as severe as when I initially came into this doctor, but I would break out and um, I basically would go uh, contact him. And so contacting him every time this happened, he basically showed me that I had to be, learn to become more sensitive with the effects uh, that the creams will have on my skin, the lotions and, and things like that, and really be sensitive to what it does um, to my skin when I when I um, put certain lotions, put certain creams, things like that, and um, just be aware of any subtle changes or effects that uh, it has on my skin. I'm sharing this story with you, this, this video, because again, I, I feel like that there are people maybe right now that feel like they're at a dark place because of um, acne um, and trust me I know because I was there I was there and I know but what I'm what I want you to understand is that be kind to yourself um, find um, continue to look for what works for you whether it be um, Dr. Neil's toolkit or whatever but whatever you find um, if it works for you I don't think you should necessarily be patient because I think when I say the word patience there is some anxiety attached to it because when you say sorry I got I got uh, cut off uh, the battery died uh, last minute so I didn't get to finish what I was saying but um, maybe I was going on for too long anyway so I think I'm gonna bring this video to a close so thanks a lot uh, appreciate your time and uh, you know just keep on trucking and uh, it'll be all right so uh, thanks a lot and uh, take care all right